Good morning, Rabbi Saya. Lili Nishmasi Mimirosi Rusmus Marachai. We have two children here. Nathan Gennot. No, this is his 10 year old son, Ellie Gennot from Flatbush. Just wanted to give you a compliment. I'm a big NBA fan, says this 10 year old. I used to look at players like they're my heroes. But since I joined my brother and my father doing the daf, you, Rebelli, are my hero. Here we go. Flat Bush. Ovadia 11 asked if he could bring the daf with him to the orthodontist while he gets his braces taken off. Mazel tov Ovadia. And thank you, Rebelli. And this is from Ovadia. Dear Rebelli, you are my hero. You are my orthodontist. Okay. Shkoyach. <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Okay. Shalom Aleichem. What's the about? Come here, Tzadi. Come here, come here. Shalom Aleichem. What's your name? Avi Kalis. Avi? Avi Kalis. From where? Kalis? From where? Givaldi. Beautiful. Shalom Aleichem. Welcome. I've been working on a very long email. I was doing the dab with you only when I commuted to work. To get Mo Landy off my back. Last night I took upon myself to lead to finish Megillah. I'm making an upsharing today, Mazel Tov. And my wife and I are setting up till one o'clock in the morning when I settle down on the couch to listen to the daf. One o'clock in the morning. I had 40 minutes left, and at 30 minutes I fell asleep to be jolted back by your non stop jokes from Tznius to not being kosher witness, it really kept me up and riveted. Without it, I would have spent the rest of the night sleeping on the couch. This is Sam Goldberg. Yoeli Doppelt, for boy's side, this is a Yoeli Doppelt special. Six weeks, six weeks ago, I sent you an email t- taking my kids out to the restaurant of each Mesefla completion and how I was gonna make my first public seum at my son's Shraggy's Bar Mitzvah. As you know, I desperately really try to be funny, so I read the email to a big crowd at the Bar Mitzvah before saying the Hadron. My father thought I was crazy. Well, what do we know? As of today, six people who attended the Bar Mitzvah have since notified me that they joined the new as, the, as a direct result. Last Sunday, me and my family were back at Essen on Kony, De, Essen Delicatessen on Kony for Masechtas Tainus, and some people passed by and said, Mazel Tov, Dupplings. It's a joke. His name is Duppel. We might have started a real movement. Restaurant owners, prepare yourselves. Yoel Alevi Duppel. P.S. I have my own version of Guy Vidalio coming soon. The following are a few excerpts. When Ellie was born, he slapped the doctor until he cried. <laughs> Ellie competes in the NBA. Here's another NBA, just for a quick warm up. When Ellie cuts onions, tears, tears roll down the onion's face. When Ellie enters the mall, he checks the security guard's bag. When Ellie updates his computer, Windows accepts his terms and conditions. <laughs> when Neil Armstrong landed in the moon, he found Ellie's foot, footprints there. Pre order the safer and sponsors are still available. This one, I can't say his name. Uh, but I will say this, I'm not making this up. Firstly, this is to compliment you on all you do. You have changed my life. First one today. And that since I started learning the Dab with you, which I started when you were at the beginning of Gemara, Shabbos, Shabbos, wow. It's hard to find the Shabbos guy. I have not missed out one Daf. For that I shall always be grateful. May you grow from sin to sin. Now, regarding the speed in which you read this email, no, regarding the speed in which you learn, it's going to appreciate it. I'm not... He has a time on the, how quickly I'm reading. I hope I'm not being chutzpahdik. Please do not publicize my name. Last time I asked you to keep it anonymous, you blazed me. My, you blazed my name to the whole world. When you eventually come to Manchester, I will have the pleasure of meeting you personally. Kol to Vatzlocha and all your endeavors. Yankel Chaim Kornbluth. Nah, somebody else. All right. <laughs> Oh, this is, I have to read this. I would like to say a big thank you to you and all those involved that make MDY the greatest thing that the internet has ever produced. I Baruch Hashem completed the with you since August when I was unfortunately unable to learn with my Chavruz as I sat by my seven-year-old daughter beside bedside in a hospital and she became suddenly really critically ill. Kitzer became this, again, a lot of strength from Yishiurim during these times, especially during the roller coaster. Six, uh, fire on diagnosing her on Chalamay Shabbos, uh, being readmitted again over Shemini at Seris. I'm starting with another long time since stay with an ultra rare kidney disease. Since being diagnosed, she's been receiving treatments and now continuing to receive treatments every week, every two weeks in the hospital. She's in need of Rachmi Shomayim for complete Rufur Shleimah. Her name is Bas Yashifra Bas Dino Chana Rufur Shleimah. Additionally, I'm truly grateful to Hashem to share that Baruch Hashem on Wednesday night, my wife gave birth to a beautiful baby girl, which we called in Shabbos Ruchama. 
Our lives have been truly challenging the last four months, but the daily daf has definitely been more than just inspiring. It is an uplifting daily experience. Thank you, D. Mansim. Yishkoyach, Rafur Shlema. Oh. Chaim sponsoring the month of the Koilo. Now, this is two very interesting things here. Mr. Anonymous gave $2,000 to MDY for four for all those that need, Parnassah for all those that need, and children for all those that need, and Simcha for all those that even don't need. I just stuck that in. Ellie from Borough Park is giving $6,000 matching towards the Gemara campaign. In other words, whoever gives money towards the Gemara campaign, he's going to match up to $6,000 at mdysponsor.com. In honor of all those, you hear, Hillel, this is for you. Put that phone down. All those that took upon themselves to better themselves in parentheses, movies for Shaivavim, Yishkoyach for $6,000. Lili Nishmas, Yeshua Ari Yalei Bakoyim Ben Yonis and Chaim, Mesephus Megillah, sponsored by the Devis and Kessel families in Schus, Rufu Shlema, Mir Mesephus Dvarim, Mesephus Megillah, Shmuli Hecht F245, Lili Nishmas, Rufu Shlema, 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 Ben Avram, Moshe Peres, Neri Yoyer, Paris Achoydesh, in honor of RL97, I give a tepper for introducing me to Rebellion's Daf, Paris Achoydesh, Daniel and Cyril Koy. Schusra for Shlema for Gavriel bin Yom and Ben Sril Fruma. Lila Nishmas. This is very sad, Rabbi Sai. I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but a, a Jewish woman was killed today in Miami in her car. She, the, the guy thought that she owns the house and he evicted her and he killed her. Lila Nishmas, Sara Bas, Arya Moshe. Shaya Weiss, in memory of Yuta Bas, Yeshaya Halevi. Avrumi and Sprinzi Gross, in honor of last night's marriage of her dear son Ben Yom to Ilana Abadi and others. Sponsors may they be zoicha to build a bayis nem v'israel amen in honor of the wedding anniversary of dear friends Dr. Herb and Sue Tarragon. May Hashem grant them many more years together in good health. I guess those are from the Baltimore. They're slightly related to me, I think. Sid and Orna Wellman from Toronto, Canada. Lezech and Nishmas, our son. Oy, Adin Yehuda ben Shmuel Yosef. Levi Lichter and Ari Borak, Rufur Shlema and Tfilas for successful surgery today for Mordechai Nisan, Ben Rezel, Daddy, Shver, Grandpa, and Mati. Mikhail Aminov, in honor of Nisim Akilov for starting the daf with Ravelli. And by, I can't say his name, Tomer Levi, Lilu Nishma, Simcha, Bas, Leo, Zechrena, Lev, Rocha. We are holding today's daf Tesvav. And we are holding by Omar Rav Nachman, like eight lines from the bottom. Three flo- three rows from where it becomes wide. Omer of Nach. Chulda, the Nevi'ah Chulda, which means a weasel. Mibnei Banov shel Yehoshua Hoysa. She's a descendant of Yeshua Benon. Ksiv Hacha ben Char Chaz, Ksiv Hasa, Metim Nascher, the same Lashen. And in Meila, they're related. As Rashi, V'Avagav de Kro, Al Baila Komasid. It's not even talking about Chulda. It's talking about her husband. Miu b'Maseh Ksiv. It's obviously referring to her. Eisvei Rav Eino Sova le Rav Nachman. Shmoyin and Nevi'im behim koyhanim yotzim miroch of Azoyno. There are eight koyhanim that turned out to be, eight, eight Nevi'im that turned out to be koyhanim, came from the famous roch of Hazoyno. Ve'eluhein, Neriyo, Baruch, Usroyo, Machseyo, Yirmiyo, Chilkiyo, Chanamel, Veshalom. Rabbi Yudo Imer, Av Chulda, here's the question, Av Chulda Hanevi'o me b'nei b'nei'o she roch of Azoyno hoisa. Oh, I have to stop here for a second. I forgot to notify Doyle. My two sons are here, Lazar and Yol. And uh, I, I uh, announced at the Siyum that because they took upon themselves this Masechta, it's the very first, not this Masechta, Tainus was the very first Masechta they ever made a Siyum. They come every day. Well, Yol comes every day. Uh, Lazar usually is in Yeshiva at this time, but he learns it afterwards on YouTube. So because of that, I'm going to take them scuba diving. So today's the day I am going I will probably not be here tomorrow, nor the day after, depending on how things go. So uh, wish us luck. I will be giving shiurim, of course. The daf never stops, even on scuba diving vacation. However, I will not be in this building. So feel free to come. It will be played or live if you feel like it. That also. Did I make a brach on this? Yes. L'chaim <laughs> yol. So, um, okay. So the question is that Chulda seems like she is from Rochav Azoyna, not from Yeshua Benun. We said a second ago the Chulda may be a bond of Yeshua Oisa. That's Rav Nachman. Now we're saying the Chulda is a descendant from Rochav Azoyna. Is that a contradiction? Not really, says the Gemara. He's going to teach us a chiddush here. We think of Rochav Azoyna. By the way, Zoyna. Some say is an innkeeper. Rashi says it's an innkeeper, not. 
But they say, no, it really means innkeeper zayna. Okay, fine. However, Ksiv Acha ben Tikva, Ksiv Hasam, as Tikva sa Chudashani, the famous story, she, with the, with the, those spying, and she let them in through the rope. Omar lay, Omar lay, Eina Sava. You, Eina Sava. Vamri lo, Pasiu Koma, you're the black pot. Which we said might be even a Milo, a Vanios, Mini Uminach, this time Shemaito. Okay, you have a good cash. I say it's from Yeshua. She, Chulda comes from Yeshua. You say, Chulda comes from Rachav. You know what? Let's put them together. This time Shemaito. Di Gario Benazba Yeshua. It happens to be, we learned already in Tainus, we're going to learn it today. Rachav was one of the most beautiful women in the world. Yeshua married her. Umi Havale Zarali Yeshua, but what do you mean? We have a cash of Nachman. How does Rav Nachman say that Chulda comes from Yeshua? He didn't even have children. Voksiv. Non, Benoi, Yeshua, Benoi. In Divri Hayamim, one Pasuk talks about Ephraim, the descendants of Ephraim. And the final Pasuk is Nun. And Benoi Yeshua, Yeshua Benoi. Yeshua Benoi is the final descendant of Ephraim. No, no more children afterwards. Says Gemara, no. Benoi Yehavile, Benoi Yehavile. Yeah, he's the final Zachar. That was it. But no more Nikavis. I'm sorry, Nikavis, but no more Zachar. Yeah. Says Gemara, Tabaf Tezvavam now. Bishloi me'inu me'parshi, ela vosayu min'alon. So, here it says, these four Nevi'im, Yirmiyo, Chanam, Baruch, and Sirayah. Okay, we have, we know that they're Nevi'im. But how do we know that their fathers are Nevi'im? Chukiyo, Shalem, Nerya, Machasi. Says Gemara. So Rashi says, a couple of them, it's, it's understood by themselves, but in general. Kedul, Adamar, Ula, Kamakam, Shishmoi, V'Shem, Aviv, B'Nevi'us. Anytime it says, Yirmiyo, Ben, Chilkiyo, if it says Ben, it means Shmoy v'shem of reveals Bidua Shu Navi U Ben Ben Navi. Not only is he a Navi, but he's the son of a Navi. Shmoy v'loy shem Aviv. If it just mentions the Navi without his father, Bidua Shu Navi v'loy Ben Navi. Then, if, since it doesn't mention the father, obviously the father is not a Navi. Okay, so a question: How do we know that these four are Navim? This one over here, if you see down here, because he's actually a grandchild. Sroya ben Neria ben Mechasio Mechasio. So Sroya is the grandson of Mechasio, who's also a Navi. That's why it's brought in the Pasuk that he's the grandson of Mechasio. So that's how we know that these four are Navim, the blues are Navim. Shemoy v'shem Iroi Mefairosh. If it says where, what city he comes from, Yedua Shemoy Ir. That's not a Chiddush, right? The Chiddush is this. Shemoy v'loy shem Iroi. But if it doesn't mention the city that he comes from, if there's missing information about the cities from, all Nevi'im were from Yerushalayim without the city. So we learned in a, in a b'risa that if we don't know exactly what kind of person he is, let's say it says, but we don't know if there's tzaddikim or not, and it says that one of them was a tzaddik, so then anybody listed in that pasuk is also a tzaddik. Ben Kushi, Ben Gedalio, you do a shoot Sadiq Ben Sadiq. They're all Sadiq. This is a Yisayid for all of Navi. If it tells you about one of them, that he's a Rasha, and he killed Gedalia Ben Achikam, so in Gedalia. So they're all Rashaim, all these people in the Pasuk. Yishmael, Nisan, Lishama. You do a shoot Rasha Ben Rasha. Omer of Nachman. Malachi ze Mordechai. Right? This is one of the Sfarim of Navi. Malachi. Who is Malachi? If Nachman holds, that it's Mordechai. V'lo menikim shmoi Malachi. Shoyim Mishnah lo Melech. He was in second in command to the king. Shverish put him all the way up there. Meisvei Baruch ben Neryo. Usroya ben Masiyo. Ben Anil Mordechai Bilshon. Here's Mordechai. V'chagi zechaya u Malachi. So in the one, three words before that says Mordechai. Then it says zechaya u Malachi. So you see that Mordechai and Malachi are two separate people. Kulam nisnabu b'shnas shtayim l'dayovesh, dayovesh. After Achashverosh. The second dayovesh. They said in Nevoah that it's time to go back and build the base of Migdash. To Yufta. That's in fact a bomb question. We don't have a good answer. Tanya Rebbe Yishuv and Karcha. Malachi is Ezra. Comes Yishuv and Karcha says no. Malachi is somebody else. It's Ezra. Chacham Rebbe Malachi Shmai. No, there's a person. So we have Mordechai. We have Ezra. We have a person by the name of Malachi. 
Or Rabbi Nachman is Tabrik Kimanda Omar Malachi Ze Ezra. I can prove to you that Malachi Ze Ezra, the Chsiv, Binavius Malachi, Bogda Yehuda Vesayeva Nessus of Yisrael, Ubi Yushalai. Terrible thing happened, a disgrace. Kichila Yehuda Kaidish Hashem, Asheroi. That, has, that Hashem loves. What happened? Ubal, he married Bas El Nechar. Married a guy. They were marrying non Jews. Terrible thing. And Uman Afresh Noshim Nochrius. Who was the one that made a whole commotion about marrying only Jewish? Ezra. The Siv. Ayan Shkanyo Ben Yechiel. Mibne Elam. Vayem and Ezra. Nachlum Alam Alikenu. Vayanoshim Noshim Nochrius. Not only in our days, unfortunately, but they have all these uh, people going out and then intermarrying. In those days also. And Ezra was the one. So Mela, Malachi is Ezra. Tanur Abanon. Arbanoshim Yifeifiyo Yisho Yibayilam. There's four beautiful women. Sora, Vavigayal, Rochav, or Rochav, Vavigayal. Rochav came first in history. Vavigayal, the Esther. Well, the man, the Omar Esther, Yirak, Rekis, I saw. And if Esther wasn't very pretty because she was green, Mapik Esther, Mayal Vashli. Vashli is the beautiful one. Says the Noid of Yehuda. That all four come for a reason. Why does Gemara have to tell us who's beautiful or who's not? What does it get to us? So Navi says, very important thing. He says, first of all, Saras to tell us how Sonua Avram Avinu was. The whole world knew how beautiful she was, and Avram Avinu yet never saw her until, until that, that, that the thing with Mitzrayim that he, Hine no yedati, Hishi fas the tzniyas of Avram and Sarah. Then, as we're going to have in a second, that Rachav, just saying her name, could make a person about Keri and Avigail thinking about her. So the Nodim says, very important, that when a person ingrains a woman in his mind, it's not for that moment. It lasts a lifetime. It could create a lifetime of Tumas, says the Nodim That's the problem. Going back to that name. And Esther is to show the Hashgacha Pratis. How Kashbar made her that beautiful so that Hashver should want her, and that, that's going to create the gula. What about if you say that she was ugly? Other have even a bigger chiddush. That Kashbar took an ugly woman and replaced her with the most beautiful Vashti in the world just to save Kla Yisrael. No, if Esther replaced Vashti. So if she was, that's what I, I didn't say that? Okay. Esther replaced Vashti, even though she was ugly. Okay, sorry. <coughs> Huh? I stand if you said it correctly, I'm sorry. Like, no problem. No problem. Says Gemara, Tonu Rabbanu, Rachav Bishmo Zinsa, just saying her name creates Znus, Yoel Bekoila, listening to her voice, creates Znus, Avigail Bezichirasa, and, and thinking about Avigail. Michal Vashal Beriyasa. It's each one a different Madrega. Michal, you have to see. Omrev Yitzchak, and this we had in Tainus. It creates a Balkari just by mentioning your name. I said the name. No, there's two, there's two extra names here. More. Yeah, different things. Not, not, not connected to those four. What about Chava? Look at Tysus on top. Unbelievable, Tysus. Sarah, lefnei chava, kekoif bifnei adam. Sarah, who's most beautiful, mentioned in the list. She's a monkey compared to chava. A monkey. As I said, Taisus. Yishloimar, delei choshev elo oisam, and I know this Misha. Who created chava? Because she's baruchu. She wasn't born. So, so then there's no comparison. She's not on the list. Yeah, there's others on the list. It says the Gemara, Amina Rocha Brocha, Veloich Basli. Nothing happened to me, Omer Lei, Kiko Amina, Beyoidu, Be Makira. This is like. This is similar to what the Noi Debi is saying. When a person knows somebody, saw a picture of somebody, it's ingrained in their mind, that's when the problem happens later on. Not if you stop, say, Rachav, Rachav, you have no idea what she looks like. It says the Gemara, So you have to see this Pasuk inside. You can look in the side of your Gemara if you want. But it says like this, You're doing very well, Avrami. I'm very impressed. Bam. Went to the big camera. Vayizak, this the red is important for us. Vayizak za'aka g'doyla u mara. Okay. So what was this? What, what did he scream exactly? What happened? My Omar, what was he screaming? Rav Omar, gova homa machashverish. Oy vey, rabbi say, it's a terrible thing he said. Haman, no, we had a chashverish hated the Jews. Anti-Semite. 
But now we have Haman we have to deal with. He wants to kill us. That's a problem. This says Rashi is a Lashon Naki. The Gemara always uses Lashon Naki. Like, Sinayim uh, Shal Yisrael, the enemies of Jews, when we want to say the Jews are in trouble. Over here also, Hashem is stronger than Achashverosh, but it really means the opposite, Kaviyacha. Like, Hashem is letting Achashverosh take care of the Jews. But it's Chalchala Malko. Chalulim Chalulim. The, the innards. What happened to the innards? My Beth is Chalchal. Oh, my Rav, she pierced the needle. She was so, she's so frightened that she was part we had in the Nida that the reason why you have to separate from the, the Chas and Kal, separate for a week, is because of the fear, the emotions cause Nida. Over here also, Rabbi Yirmi Omar, No, she had to go to the bathroom. She was so fearful, she had to go to the bathroom. Esther She called Asach. Omarav Asach Zedanil. She told him secrets that she wouldn't tell anybody else. Basically, the Sach knew that she's Jewish. So it has to be that the Sach was Jewish himself. Otherwise, she wouldn't say it. We'll, like, we're going to see in a second. So this is Daniel. By the way, I have to take back what I said yesterday because I showed in the list Daniel with an X. Yes, Rashi says take him out of the list. But not because he wasn't a Navi. He was one of the 1.2 million Navim. We had a Gemara that said that Daniel doesn't come to the... He wasn't as Choshev as Hanani Mishal Vizaria in Navios. In the video, but he did have a little Nevios, like the 1.2 million Nevi'im. Fine, Go, that's just Daniel. So, but he's also, we know that he's by Bashatzar, by all those kings. Rashi says that he was so important. He was a, he was a, what do presidents have? A um, advisor. He was a chief advisor. Chief of staff, chief advisor. The kids are, they, they chopped it, they took him down. The opposite. He gave advice and whatever he said went. He's the guy that wrote the teleprompter for Biden, for whatever. Yeah. Ladas. Now, Esther said, she, she said to, sent to the, to the Soch, Ladas, to, to tell Mordechai. Ladas, maze va'al maze. What is Omer Yitzchak, Shokhaloi, Shema over Yisrael, Hamisha Chum Shitar. So that's what they're saying. That's why it has to be a Jew. She's telling the Sach, who happens to be Daniel, but maybe it was Joe Shmo, a guy. She's going to tell a guy, oh, maybe the Jews were over on Chamisha Chum Shitaira. They were over on, on Averis. Doesn't make sense. That's why it has to be that a Sach is Daniel. You can see them from both sides. They told Mordechai what she said. Daniel himself didn't. Other people's Vayegidu. Others said it over. Mekan Shemeshivim Al Kalkala. Sometimes when there's bad news, you don't go and deliver the news. Leich Knoises Kala Yudim. Vigoimer. Ad Asher Loik Hados. Anyway, this is the Pasuk. I don't know if you want to read it. But what it means, I'm just saying, Leich Knoises Vigoimer Ad Asher Loik Hados means, here's the beginning of the Pasuk. Very long Pasuk. Leich Knoises Kala Yudim. You have to fast for three days. The Gemara says, from Lech Knois until these red words, Lech Kados. Says the Gemara, unbelievable thing. Look at the sacrifice that Esther did for Klai Yisrael. Until now, she had a head there to be with, with, she was married, married woman, married woman is allowed to be allowed. She's not ushered to her husband. If, if a woman wil- willfully went with somebody else, she's ushered to her husband. She's not ushered to Mordechai because it was, it was against her will. It was forceful. She's telling Mordechai, listen, I have to take a step here. I have to go on my own. And go to Achashverosh. And if I go on my own, now all of a sudden it's not an oinus anymore. I can't say, oh, it was against my will. I went. Now, she's not going to get an oinus, because she had to. She had to save the Jews. nefesh. But it's not an oinus in terms of relations with her husband. She went willfully. Yes, she has a good reason. She's not going to get Misa. And she's not going to get Gehenim. Whatever. But in terms of her husband, she's also to her husband. Tremendous sacrifice. She can never be with her husband. Why? To save the Jews. Here, this is the end of the Pasuk. 
I'm, I'm losing out. Whatever I did, I didn't finish. It's gonna, I'm going to be lost forever. I'm taking a sacrifice. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm out. Vayavar Mordechai, Omerav. What is Vayavar? He's over Navera or over something. Omerav. Shehever, Yom Rishon, Shepesel, Betainas. This whole thing happened on the 13th of Nisan. In other words, they fasted th- three days. So 14, 15, 16, they fasted. There was no Lela Seder. Imagine, no Matzah, no Marah, nothing. They had to fast. Why? Pikuach Nefesh. There's no choice. Ushmul Omar, the Ovar, it means it's not a lotion of being over, it means that he went over. Our kuma de maya, he had to jump over a, a pool, a body of water, in order to reach other Jews to tell them about what's going on, to get them to, to fast. We had this Gemara the other day. Big day It should have been that she wore begadim. It was the Gemara that spoke about to prove that she was in a via. Yesterday's Gemara. She put on not physical clothing. She put on a ruach kodesh. It's referring to Ruach HaKadosh. You should never, this, this is something I'm suffering from now. I go places and they say, like, give, give me a bracha. Now I feel very uncomfortable when people say that. I say, I don't give brachas. Okay, so I say, okay, so you give me a bracha. I'll give you a bracha, fine. Don't, don't, not, not a nova, it's, it's weird. Okay. Received a brach from I'm laughing because it just reminds me of Rugalinsky, the famous Rugalinsky. He says, My brachas are much stronger than Reb Chaim Kanievsky's brachas. I once gave Reb Chaim Kanievsky a bracha that he should finish Shas next year. And he says, V'chein Lamar, you too. And my bracha was Mukoyim, his bracha is terrible. Yeah, okay. Atiyah, Birkis Kalavi Necha. Here have the Pasuk. So basically saying, he's giving a bracha, Hashem should listen to you. Aravna. And then it says, Two Pasukim later, Hashem listened. That what? There's no more Magaifa. So you see, Hashem listened to the head yoit. Just yesterday, there was, a, there was a guy, that, I'm not going to say the name, he, he's a very famous uh, publication he puts out every week on Chumash, Sheer Nair Yisrael, and he went to this Rebbe, that, he didn't hold so much of the Rebbe, I guess, I don't know, like a, a Rebbe uh, with two and a half Hasidim. So the, he says, give me a bracha. Tells the Rebbe, give me a bracha, you should have a ch- uh, boy, he didn't have kids for a long time. So he says, okay, I'll give you a bracha on condition that if you have a child, I'm the Sandik. Knew what happened. Nine months, it's going to be my book, nine months in a day, later, whatever, ten months later, he has a boy. The Rebbe said, pay up. He said, no, what do you mean? I went to a bunch of... Yesterday, that Rebbe was a sandik at the guy's breast. Yesterday. So uh, I want to give the a bracha. You should all have banim scharim. And I looked it up. If you have a boy, right around Ksubis, that pay tes, I'm sandik, baby. <laughs> I'm sandik. <laughs> And if it's in America, I'll send that Rebbe. Whatever, but I'm Sandik. Okay. Super staff pay test. Send me that email. Sandik. It has to be different hours. Not everybody together. Or we'll bring them all here to, to the base measures. Zakti Gemara. That's right. The, uh, you know, you just somebody said that to the Chibina Rebbe. Chibina Rav. He's like, the Shemina Rav said, oh, you, should, you should be Zerchit again. No, 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 this, this is a, uh, Rabbi Kiveger. Somebody said to Rabbi Kiveger, I think it was Rabbi Kiveger, one of the G'daylam. He said, I'll tell you a bigger scalp. So then he realized, wait a minute, I just told the Gala Dar that he's a head yet. You hear Judah? So he says, no, what I meant to say is that I'll tell you a bigger head yet, me, I'm the head yet receiving the bracha. So Rabbi Kiveger said, I'd rather be called the head yet then you take the Gemara and squeeze it the wrong way. Okay, Zog the Gemara. Daniel, the Baruch Hidar Yavesh, the Yavesh, Oyve. He gave him a bracha. The Chsiv, Elahach, the Ant Polachle, the God that you worship. Bidiro, Yisha Zvinach, who Yisha Zvinach, Bidiro, that you do it every day, you're you, you, Tadir. Who Yisha Zvinach, he's going to save you. 
Vomer Lazar, Vomer Bechanin Atiyah, Kila said, Kalbe Necha. Oh, this for boys, everybody's very mocked. If somebody ever, you know, in the grocery store, a lady starts cursing, you start getting, oh, you're vague. If somebody gives you a bracha, no, no, just go, just go. A curse, a lot of people are very mocked when a curse. What's the nafkimina? Especially Sfardim, right? You know what the nafkimina is? Because when people curse you, they do it with all their heart. It's a real thing. Atiyah, Kila said, Kalbe Necha, Shari Avi Melch, Kila Lesara, Kinu Elach, Susinayim. This guy is Aro. Abimelech cursed her. And Vayik Yizok in Yitzchok. Vatechena Enov, he was blind. Omer Rebbe Lazar, Omer Rebchanino, Boy Reish, Leki Mitzakesh Baruchu. Midas Basu Vedam. Kesh Baruchu is different than humans. Midas Basu Vedam. Odom, Shoifes Gdei Rebach, Yach Noisin, Toich Omayim. First he put the pot on the oven, on the stove. Then he filled it up with water. Aval Kesh Baruchu Noisin Mayim. Vach Yach Shoifes Gdei Rebach. That could be according to, remember we had a Machloikis. How does rain happen? Is that the condensation coming out of the sea forms the clouds, and then, or does it come from Shemayim? According to the Chayyim, this is according to the sheet that comes out of Shemayim. That first he has the water up in Shemayim, and then you get a kli called a cloud. The kaim Hashem Emar, the kol tito yahamoy mayim ba Shemayim. Vomer v'la zomer v'chanino kol oimer dovim shem oimroi mevi guula lo ilom. If you say something in somebody's name, you bring a guula to the world. Shem Emar v'toy me esel amelach b'shem Mordechai. So how do you see the guula? Because she said it in Mordechai's name, so the king remembered that he owes a, a Mordechai a favor, and that's how the whole gula happened. Because she mentioned to Mordechai that he saved her, that he saved that Mordechai is the one that saved Achashverosh. Yeah. When a tzaddik leaves the world, he only left the world for his generation. In other words, like a person that loses a diamond, let's say, the diamond is a diamond no matter whether you lost it or not. So who lost it? The owner. The generation lost it, but the tzaddik is still there, the, the nisham is still there, the tire is still there. <coughs> so Haman says, it's not worth it for me, all this. We're going to say a bunch of, uh, these are, once we mention Rebbe Lazar, we continue. What is Zeba So the story is, if you remember, that previously, years earlier, Mordechai and Haman were at a war. Haman ran out of food. Mordechai knew how to ra- ration it properly, and he begged Mordechai for bread. So Mordechai said, "Okay, sell yourself." So he sold himself to get some bread. To Mordechai. Haman sold himself as a slave to Mordechai. So anytime he saw Mordechai, he realized, oh, I'm a slave to this person. <laughs> and he re- wrote with blood. Show him on the shoe. Have show him on the shoe. And he had he had he did it with blood, right? I think it was blood. They didn't have he didn't have ink. Fine. Zebra Bruzbala, he came with his wealth. Haman He was poor. We just turned to this. Vavim Bey, sponsored by Aaron Stroke, and honor my parents Josh and Naomi Stroke, and the Zeichen Ishmael's Aaron Ben Shimon Akoyen, sponsored in honor of Rabbi and Mrs. Avram Yaakov, and Sarah Levine, by Ben Prairis Levine, by the children. Omer HaPapa, Bukarle, after the Mizdabim Vitume. They called Haman the slave that was sold with bread. Bukhal Zeyn and Eshevili. What's Zeh? What is he pointing at? Melam Shukal Gnozov, Shalaisa Rosh Hakukim Aliboy. They were either in great physically or they were in his heart. See all this, all my real estate, all my gold, and then my 10,000 check, everything's not worth it. Again, continue with Rebbe Lazar and Rebbe Chanino, that Akash Baruch is going to be the crown on the heads of every tzaddik. The crown tzvi. Those who do Akash Baruch's will will tap into Fartoi, those who wait for his glory from the art scroll. This we have over and over and over in Shas. A person has to put himself like a leftover, like a piece of nothing. When you act by Anava, that's when it sticks. Otherwise, these things don't stick to Balagaiva. Uluruach Mishpat Ze. Hadon esitzroi, a person that does tshuva. That's the ruach mishpat. Uli yoshev ala mishpat ze hadon din emes la amitoi. So we always say emes la amitoi, emes la amitoi, right? So finally, I, I found this tosis over here, ze, right over here, the little tiny tosis. Tosis explains what the word emes la amitoi. Emes, what's emes la amitoi? 
He says, the first you have to see if the witnesses are false or not. If they are not false, they're MS, then I could judge the case la mitoy. So there's two things going on here. You can't have false witnesses and, and, ju- and judge la, la MS. They have to, you need two things. There's not a person that does tshuva. The difference between gvura and don, the, the first thing, ruach mishpat, here's a person who doesn't come to the chet. He wants to be over in Avera, and he says, stop, I'm going to control myself. What's People that learn Torah. Shara, what's at the gate? Here in this in this base medrash, people come here at 4:30 in the morning to learn Torah. They open the gates of the base medrash. I'm not going to talk about Avigar Gir and who the different people that come here early. One pshat is what's the difference between the goyim and the, 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 the Jews and the non-Jews, or the tzaddikim and the non-tzaddikim. Amar Allah, Gosh Baruch Hu, Yisrael, the Midas HaEmes, the, 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 the body that's in charge of justice. What's the difference? Why do you treat the Yidin like this? Amar Allah, Gosh Baruch Hu, listen to this. This is again another point for me. Yisrael, Asku Torah. The difference is Torah. Um is Ha'olam le Asku Torah. That's the difference. You know what? Because I just thought about it. And not to knock Chas Shalom, Chesed, but there are there is Chesed by Goyim. But Torah they don't have. Chesed, yes, you see Chesed all the time over there. But and the difference between the Rishoyim of Klai Yisrael and that is they, they act like like the like the non Yid, like the Ovid Abed Zara, Gam Eile Biyain Shogu they drink too much. And therefore, Paku Pelilia, Mashiach Tov, Paku Pelilia, Ein Paku Elo Gehenim. Shenem Al Yisia Zayis Lecha Lefukar. Do you remember this pasuk we had yesterday? <coughs> that don't be a stumbling block. I've got told the David I don't want to be a stumbling block. So that's Gehenim. I don't want you to fall into Gehenim. Ein Pelilia Elo Dayanim. Shenem Al Venasim Eflilim. This thing that there was Tov by Yain Shogu Mashiach Tov. That they were by the guy. Fine, with no time. We'll say it a different time. I got, a, I got a nasty email from somebody. You start saying you joke and you don't say it. I'm sorry. I don't know. This is only six minutes left. If there's time at the end, I'll say it. Omer Rebbe Levi. Esther's walking through to, in the palace. She's trying to get to Hashverosh. So we said before, she's about to lose her husband with this Misa. And she walks in the, and there's Avedizar there's everywhere. What happens? This Talko Himena Shechina. She felt the presence of a Baruch Hu disappear. And she thought, she didn't realize it's because of the Abed Zara Amra. Keili, Keili, lava, lama, lama. Thank you for leaving me stranded like that. <laughs> when I sing, when I sing, you, I want a solo. I have a solo all day long. Okay, so enough one. Kaili, Kaili, Lava, Mama, Lama, as I have to have a knee. I can't. Wrong song. No, not that one. Oh, that's the one you know. Shvach, that one. <coughs> this one is more for Litvak. Kaili, Kaili. Maybe, maybe you have a title against Mekosh Baruch Hu. The Shoigig is like a maze, the Oynes is like a Ratzin. Maybe because I called Achashverosh a dog. You know, what's the big thing if she called him a dog? Well, Pashup Shad is, you have to respect even the non Jewish king. You have to covet. Or you could take a Pshad here, maybe, that. She treated the whole situation like a kelev. Yeah, kelev, kelev comes to you. It's not the, not the end of the world, German shepherd. You're scary, take a stick, you run away. When she chapped at the next word, she called him a lion. Oh, once you treat it like a lion, you see that there's, there's no way out of it, then, then I, need, I need to be saved. Then everything changed. Don't forget, she's in the middle of a fast. She fasted for how long? Three days. What happens to the person after three days of fasting? 
they're weak, they're bent over. So she needed three malachim. Each one does one av- one one uh, task. Thank you. One, straighten her up a little bit. She needed that chesed, that, that, that attractiveness of chesed. Sharvit is this wand that a king has. And you can't, <coughs> if you're going to, if you come to the king without touching it, dead meat. Now, she was scared. She, she couldn't come close. So, it had to be pulled towards her. How long did the Sharvit extend? Four feet. No, it was four feet. And the Malach pulled it and made it 24 feet. 120 feet. We just had it this week's parasha that her hand was extended. The story is He lifted up the mountain. He wanted to kill the Jews. Hashem made a nace that the Rashi brings it. The ants came and dug and then it fell over his head. And then in order that he shouldn't be able to pick it up. So, you know, like you take a nail and you, you bend the nail. His teeth came out crooked. Rashi says over here, I just did it for you real quick. It could have said Shen Rasha because it says Shine Rishayim. The difference is only in the Yud and the Yud Mem. Total of 60, says Rashi. That's how you know. That's a Rem is in the Pasuk that is 60. That's how long his teeth grew 60 Ama, which is 120 feet each tooth. He extended. He heard from his Rebbe, who heard from his Rebbe's Rebbe, Mosayim. 200. Kitzur Nisei Nisim. Vayom Rila Melech Lester Malko. What do you want up to have it a king? I'm only giving you half. So it's a play on words. Chatsi is choitzetz, meaning Umayniu binyan beis hamidrash. Eretz Yisrael is in the center. Beis hamidrash is in smack in the middle. So that's going to divide my kingdom. I don't want you to build a beis hamidrash. Yovaya melech v'hamon el hamishta. Tan rabbanon. Ma Rasa Esther Shizimna Salmon. Amazingly, very rare they have this. <clears throat> you might ask a question. Why did Esther need Haman? All she needed to do was convince Achashverish and end the story. Convince, make a nice meal, sit down one on one with your husband, explain to him that it's not a good thing. I'm Jewish, da da da. Why did she have to bring Haman? The Gemara brings 12 answers. And the Gemara says at the end, Eloyo Anavi said, all 12 answers are 100% true. Just to show that that's how Tyra works. You think that it's machlokes or this, that? No, shivim panim la Tyra. There's 12 ways to understand it. Rebbe Lazar Yemer Pachim Tamanoloi. She tried to trap him. She tried to trip him up. Shenemar Yishulchanim Lefneim Lepach. It was a it was a trap. Rebbe Yishua Yemer Mebeis Avi Alamda. Shenemar. She learned from her father's house. Now Rashi points out, obviously she didn't have a father. She was a Yisayma. She heard from her Jewish. Family from the kids in the neighborhood, in the street. She heard them saying over Pesukim, If your enemy is hungry, feed him bread. She didn't want him to run away and, and, and think about a way to get out of this. So she brought him right there. She wanted to pretend she's not Jewish. Oh, we, we, we're good. We have Esther. No, you're not good. You have Haman in there. <coughs> that she should be able to get him at, at any given moment. When a person, his guard is down, he's there for such a long time, she'll get him. In fact, that's what happened. When a Gishbaruch sees how terrible the thing is, the monster is so bad, Haman is right there in the house. He'll do, he'll make a nace. So, I'm going to look at him in a certain way. I'll smile to him. All of a sudden, Achashverosh is going to chop a kas. He's going to kill both of us. I'm willing to sacrifice myself to save Klai Yisrael. But what, so what if Haman dies? Says Rashi, like we learned. They had a Kabbalah. If one of the people that makes Xerah dies, Xerah is over. So let's... What daf, Levi? He, he was a wishy-washy. Every day he changed his mind. Let's get it done right here. Here's Haman. You said to kill him. Oh, let's kill him right now. Off of the set. 
But we need to say, The sign, Rebbe Lezim Mudoy, Oimer, Kinatu Ba'melech, Kinatu Basarim. She, she put in jealousy in the king and jealousy in all the sarim over there. Rabbi Omar, Lifnei Shever, Goin. This is a tremendous line. Lifnei Shever Goin. Unfortunately, I saw with my mother, Allah Shalom, you see it sometimes by the sick people, right before the nifter, they have like a spike in good health. There's like a, so right before a downfall, everything is going well. They say about Rav Sadi Yagoyin, he was a guy, before the Rishayim, that he was at a, he was doing a, he's putting his kalim, his dishes in the mikvah, in the, in the, in the river, and they, they, ran, they, they went away, he lost them. And all of a sudden they came back, he started crying. He said, this is bad news, this is terrible news. When things go so well, not a pider chateva, things are just going, everything, the business is great, everything great. Know that something bad is going to happen. Lifnei shever goin. And then when he found out, he was, he was, he was destined, he, had, he lost everything. everything. In fact, he lost everything because he, he foresaw that. And he was so sick, and the doctor said, make a chicken soup, and he, a whole thing, just, it should be one spoonful of chicken soup from the whole chicken. He made it. This is Ripsadi goin. It's not a story that happened 10 years ago. And then uh, uh, a spider put a, a spider web in there and, he said, and, and then he started laughing. He said, that's all I have, this one spoon. And even that one spoon got ruined. Oh, that means that it's about to, it's, it's about to get good. Lefnei shever goin. Abayi v'rovet amrit avayu. Bechumam oshes es mishteyem. When they're hot, they're, you give them some, something to drink. Ash kichir rabbe bravo leliyo. Here's the story. Rabbe bravo met leliyo. Omar leliyo. From, from which one of these 12 shatim is the, is the reason? Omar Lay. This is a tremendous, you have to remember this. Every one of the 12 shatim is MS. Have a wonderful day.